Hi everyone, my name is Mehmood Sheikh and welcome back to Object Oriented System Analysis and Design Tutorial Series. In today's video, we are going to discuss about an important concept of software development and that concept is use case driven object oriented system analysis. So before coming to today's topic, I just want to tell you guys that if you guys like this video or if you got some useful and valuable information from this video, then click on like button, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any questions, then let me know in the comment section. Now let us start our discussion. As I have already told you the topic of today's discussion and the topic is use case driven object oriented design. Okay, so object, use case is one of the tool in object oriented system design and it's a part of UML, Unified Modeling Language. Apart from use cases, we have other graphical tools. Actually, this use case diagram is one of the graphical tools. Apart from this use case diagrams, we have many other diagrams also like class diagram, activity diagram, uh, state transition diagrams, sequence diagrams, collaboration diagrams, flow charts, uh, DFD, data flow diagrams. Okay, so all these comes under unified modeling language and the purpose of all these uh, diagrams is to properly understand the behavior of the system, interaction between the user and the system and how the data is getting flown between one component to another component within the system. So all this we can come to know with the help of these diagrams. Okay, And in today's video we are trying to discuss only one of the diagrams of UML which is use case and that is the topic of our discussion use case driven system analysis and design so here i have written down the points and with the help of these points we will try to understand this concept so i have already told you what is the purpose of use case driven approach so use case driven approach is a systematic and diagrammatic way of representing the interaction between the user and the system okay so uh, let us try to understand it in deeper uh, with the help of these points. The use case driven object oriented system analysis involves actors. Okay, So here if you want to represent the interaction between the users and the system here we are using a concept called as actors. Okay, So the actors are those people who will be using the system like us. Okay, So whenever we have a computer application or software we will be using various features of that application so now we become the actors of that application uh, so this uh, use case driven object system is uh, object oriented system analysis involves actors okay and uh, use cases to describe the system from users perspective okay so it uses the actors and the use cases to describe the system uh, from users perspective okay so actors i have told you that we are the actors who uses the system and what are the use cases use cases are the scenarios situations okay uh, so like if you take an example of an atm machine so what are those uh, actions user will be going to perform on the atm machine yes first i will visit the atm then i will just take out the card and i will insert that card inside the atm machine so that is one interaction i just take out my card and insert that card inside the atm machine so now this is called as an interaction or a situation or we can call it as use case okay then atm shows me a message what operation you want to perform okay there will be some list of operations like uh, withdrawal deposit changing uh, password all those things operations will display okay so i will read those operations and i will again interact with the system and then i will just click any of the option so that is another use case okay so all these situations and interactions we can easily represent with the help of use case diagrams the actors are external factors that interact with the system okay so as i have told you that actors are normal people and these are the external factors they are not directly connected to the system they are outsiders who will be coming and using the system and once they are done with their work they will be going back next the you the cases uh, use cases are scenarios that describe how actors uses the system that's what i told you okay so use cases are the scenarios and these use cases describe how users uses the system 
okay in the form of various situations now uh, let us move ahead to discuss it involves following steps okay so this use case driven system development uh, uh, analysis involves the following steps first one, first one is identifying the actors okay so first we need to identify who will be the actors who are those people who will be using the system identifying the actors who is using the system okay so first i need to identify who will be the users or the actors who will be using the system then in the case of proposed system who will be the who will be using the system okay so this point is related to the existing system and this point is related to the new system or the proposed system in the case of proposed system who will be the actors who will be using the system in future next second develop the use cases okay in the second step or stage we need to develop the use cases so while developing the use cases we need to make sure these points we need to consider these points so next uh, what are the users using with the system so we need to figure it out or analyze what are those things which users are searching in that application what features users want to use okay then in the case of proposed system what users will do with the system okay so if your system is not existed uh, or present then you are talking about the proposed system and if it is a proposed system then what users will do with the system what users might perform what work user might perform with the system all those things we need to study then use cases provides us the comprehensive documentation of the system under study okay so since these use cases uh, helping us to understanding the behavior or the interaction between the system so these use cases is giving us a comprehensive documentation a detailed documentation about the system which we are trying to develop okay next is prepare interaction diagrams and we have sequence diagrams collaboration diagrams these two comes under the interaction diagrams and with the help of these diagrams also we are representing the interaction between the system system and the user next identifying classes okay so as i have told you in my previous video where i have discussed business business object analysis that classes is one of the fundamental concept of object oriented system analysis and design because uh, classes represents every minute detail about the system okay uh, it describes about the uh, access specifiers it describes the data members member functions methods how the data gets accessed in the methods all these things it will describe who uh, we can describe with the help of classes okay uh, so we need to identify the classes okay whenever we are trying to develop any system we need to first find out which will be our classes okay uh, suppose uh, take an example of a social media network okay like uh, facebook twitter uh, so suppose you are developing a social media network and uh, what will be the classes in social media network platform yes there can be a class with the name users okay users okay so this class will hold the details of all the users okay uh, register to the platform then uh, there will be a class called as posts okay so this class will maintain the details of all the posts published by various users then you can create a class with a name as uh, comments okay which contains the details of all the comments given by the users okay so if you understand your system then it will not difficult for you to figure it out what will be the various classes which comes under that system so we need to find out those classes once we find out those classes then we need to identify the relationship between these two classes these multiple classes okay uh, then we need to identify the attributes that means uh, what information i will be storing in each and every of these classes like users if you take an example of users then user id user name uh, okay and then the profile picture okay gender all those things becomes the attributes of that class if you 
take an example of this post then uh, what will be the attributes of that post uh, post id post name uh, then uh, post image featured image uh, then day, uh, date and time the post was published likes all those things and comments all those things becomes the attributes of this particular class okay that we need to identify that is what identify attributes and then identify methods okay methods or the functions which will use this the attributes to perform any action next last one is iterate and refine the steps okay so at the end you need to iterate all the above steps and refine if you have any problem in any of the stages of your use case driven system development process then you need to figure it out those problems and resolve those problems and continuously keep on refining the system okay so this is everything about uh, use case driven system analysis or system development okay so what we understood with this complete discussion use case is one of the tools which comes under unified modeling language and it's a graphical tool which allows the users to understand uh, or demonstrate the interaction and the behavior between the user and the system okay and it has many advantages so i hope you guys like this video and that's all for this video guys if you guys like this video or if you got some useful and valuable information from this video then click on like button share it with your friends don't forget to subscribe to this channel and if you guys have any questions then let me know in the comment section thanks for watching